So Joe, we gotta have a conversation, bro, because we gotta talk about your VP selection, okay? I see a lot of people online talking about, he needs to pick Stacey Abrams, he needs to pick Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren, Child hell fucking no. The justification for picking these white women is just beyond me. They say, well, Joe Biden already has a black vote, so what does he need a black VP for? Because he owes the black community everything. Let's not forget, Joe, we saved your fucking campaign. Your ass was on your way out. You was broke, you had no money, you had nothing. So you owe us everything. We don't owe you shit. And I'm never gonna downplay a black woman, but you cannot compare apples to oranges Stacey Abrams to Kamala Harris, because they're not on the same level. These two things are not alike. Stacey Abrams has a bright future ahead of her, and I'm hoping the best out of whatever she decides to do with her life, but being VP ain't one of them. Let me tell you something. Kamala Harris is ready day one if some shit pops off, okay? She has the experience to be president right damn now. She sits on the Senate Intelligence Committee. She literally has legislative power. She's a beast when it comes to criminal justice. This is the president we need right now in office. And this is the person we need as VP to carry that torch for Joe Biden because what Joe lacks, and unfortunately, Joe, this is what you're lacking. You're lacking enthusiasm. You're lacking an army. You're lacking what I consider is going to be that extra momentum that's going to push you to the top. And you need that right now in Kamala Harris. I know so many people who were in South Carolina that was actually waiting for Kamala Harris. I know a lot of people in North Carolina who was waiting for Kamala Harris. Every place that she's went, because I also did some volunteer work for her. I was not paid. I wasn't on payroll, bitch. I was doing some shit for free. I went to a, um, a rally in Greensboro, North Carolina. And literally, this is her first time in North Carolina. Her only event in North Carolina. And literally, I'm sitting here thinking, oh, she's probably gonna have like 15 people volunteer. It turned out to be 50 volunteers and over 3,500 people showed up to her first rally in North Carolina. That's amazing. And the diversity of the crowd is what really stood out. So, Joe, you really need to think about this. You need that enthusiasm. Everybody was ready for that. Everybody was excited. Everybody had Kamala shirts. Everybody was ready for Kamala. You need to pick Kamala.